morning everybody uh, Gary Porter again I've got the uh, the generator from the sportsman my son hacks out it off the end of the block of the engine and I put an adapter on the end of it to uh, to keep the grease from flying all over the place I simply used a piece of plexiglass and bolted it in here and I made, I made, I made a mount for it down here and uh, so this thing, this mount the back screw uh, right here will be used for adjustment and tensioning the belt. I just have a piece of threaded rod come up at an angle and, uh, and that's that. And then uh, over here is the original shaft, one inch, and then we take that down to the half inch shaft. And uh, I'm using the same the same panel which just took a nose dive and uh, this is from from the original uh, generator and uh, everything stays the same. The wiring is basically the same. I may add a switch into it, but uh, the wiring goes over to the original uh, the end of the motor here. What's interesting is the generator has a little bit of a Tesla concept in it where the uh, magnets have a, an additional coil wrapped, wrapped around the magnets and uh, so what that does is, and those are shorted, those coils are shorted in a, in a way so the induced voltage into them and the current flow is additional help to the uh, magnetic field in the, uh, in the inside the generator. So that's, that's pretty interesting how they've adapted a little bit of a Tesla shorting coil assistance in the magnetic fields. Uh, you know, one problem I had was this shaft over here on the end tends to uh, down here on the end here tends to slide in and out so I'm going to use uh, maybe a thin spacer that's glued to it here maybe a ball bearing on the end of it I don't know we'll, we'll see but anyway the thing the thing turns and I had a there's a there was a threaded hole here and so I had a machine shop make this uh, this half inch shaft that threads into that hole. The threads he said were terrible and uh, but they got it as true as they could get it so and it's, it's not bad. It'll work for what we're doing here and uh, so that shaft was made and that will adapt the half inch pulley here about oh two inches two inch pulley here and then a six inch pulley up on the one inch shaft up here. Anyway we'll start there and see if we can get 120 volts running a light bulb and then we're going to have some fun when I get the pole transformers. But we're basically uh, we're there. I've got uh, an additional board I've been working on, and I've got it almost done. This is one of the ones I was going to give give to one of the guys. But this thing here has got uh, missing the transformer. This is probably the middle of May. I'll end up with that. So I've got my I've got one of my original boards over here that probably will go out to Gerard Moore and to screw around with. But anyway, that's it for today. Have a